guys welcome back and thanks for joining me as always um, I'm going to tell you a wee copper cascade just a, a bit of fun now the hook and the vice is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10 you probably ties down to a size 12 um, the thread that I'm going to use to, to tie the fly is uni 380 in black so we're just going to come in and get our thread started a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook run on a, a few mil of thread and remove your, your waist tag now the tag at the back is going to be the ultra wire in hot orange. So we'll just get a wee length of this off. I'm just going to offer this in underneath the hook shank. A couple of turns will catch that in. And then just run my thread down. Tang that in until my thread's in line with the, the points of the hooks. Then I'm going to come around with five turns of the hot orange wire and on my last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks now just to keep the body level I'm going to run this up just turn the wire in underneath because the, water, the body's going to be a copper mylar. I'm going to get up to here and I'm going to bend and break away the wire because the rib is going to be the, the ultra wire in blue so we're just going to get a, a wee length of this off just going to tie this in back in underneath just the, the same way we did with the, the hot orange wire And just bring it in underneath and run your thread back down to hand this in. Now what you could do, you could just use the, the hot orange wire or even a, a copper wire for the rib. It's up to you. The tail is going to be a grey squirrel tail dyed orange. Right. Just going to bring enough out just to create a tail. Just trim this. Always trim it close or sorry close to the right to the the bone of the tail and then you can always get in and get the length of the, the whole way up now the length of the tail is entirely up to you just with it being squirrel I'm just going to have it around about a, a length and a half of the hook over the back come in with a couple of tight turns just to catch this in then I'm going to come in and lift the excess just take this away in a bit of a tapered cut just for the wing at the front just try and get the wing to sit as low as you can now you see if your wing doesn't sit low don't worry because once it had a swim that will bring it down now I'm going to put some flesh into the tail and this is just two strands of copper crystal flesh so just come around with a, a turn, another turn to hold. I'm going to fold the access back, a couple of turns over the top, and then come in and trim away the access. And then I'm just going to moisten that because we need that for the wing. Now just a wee bit too long, so I'm just going to come in and trim away the a wee bit of the copper flesh. Now even though your tan squirrel is a tail, it does have a tendency to pull out. So at this point, I'm just going to wipe some like a super glue on the thread could use varnish it's up to you and then I'm just going to work up my thread I right, just want the squirrel to stay on top just work my thread up tan in the squirrel and then bring my thread back down holding the tail in the position right, any excess of glue just take it away. The body is going to be the uni miner, copper and blue, and we're going to use the, the copper shade. So these dual tensils are really good value um, for money. So I do like them. So we're just going to trim a length the other way. Now we want the copper shade. So we're going to tie it in with the blue shade. 
face of me and then I'm going to run the thread up just taking a bit of care not to create any lumps and bumps but if you do don't worry it's not the end of the world just bring it up to there then we're going to come round with our tinsel just making sure we get a nice clean turn going <coughs> excuse me at the back of the hook and then you just want overlapping turns of the tinsel up the body. Now for a wee bit more longevity you can put on some super glue and then wind up your mailar over that. Then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. Then we're going to come up with our blue wire and I'm looking four turns of the blue wire up the body to there. Follow this around with my thread couple of tight turns to secure in the wire then we can bend and break away the wire now we're not looking too bad the wing grey squirrel tail dyed black we drop off here in the stagger just like the, the stack the wing now you can have the wing as long and short as you like but I'm just going to have mine just sort of way the tips coming past the the bends of the hooks. Just going to hold this on top and the reason why I'm tying it in like I usually trim it and cut it away but with enough room to work with up here at the front. So just come in lift up your squirrel. Nice pair of sharp scissors here guys to help you trim the hair away. Same again. Just going to come in with like a super glue onto the thread and bring my thread down over the cut ends just stops the squirrel from pulling out just back to our flash then our two strands of copper crystal flash stop for that up to the hook a couple of turns going to fold the excess back just bring the thread up over the flash I just want to get the the longer pieces of the want those in then we'll come in and trim those wet just moisten them just get more fly out of those now we're not looking too bad next tackle I'll just show you the cape it's just a this is just a wee cock cape that I got and the camera doesn't like the colour I'm just trying to show you it I just dyed it a, a sunburst um, nice wee Nice wee haggle. If you get into dyeing your own materials guys, you know, you can get the colour that you want rather than buying the colour out of the shop. A eh, couple of turns to catch the tip in, fold the tip back, a couple of turns back up over the tip of the haggle. Eh, it's okay, the tip broke off my hand, but it's tied in. And just come in with my scissors, stroking back the Fibers, and then we're just going to do one turn in front of the other. Now, I'm going to put on a Kingfisher blue haggle in front of this, and if there were two cock haggles, I would have tied them in together there. But I'm going to use a, a hen haggle, so I'm just going to tighten up, just catching that stem in, come in and trim away the stem underneath anything that's going forward just sweep it back and bring my thread up over the top and this is the wee hen haggle here so just going to stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip now I'm just going to take off some of the haggles just at the top of there just where I'm going to wind on I'm going to stroke those back, just come in, catch in the haggle tip, fold the tip back, bring my thread back up over the tip on the haggle, come in and trim away the axia, or break away the, the tip, sorry, and then we're just going to come around with one turn in front of the other. Right. That's going to be plenty there. So, just going to come around, just make sure all the hackles are folded back. 
to there. Bring your thread up. Bring your hackle into your thread, catching in the the stem. Right. That thread slipped. Just go back. Just let everything go. Go back the way it was. We'll just come back in again. If I use wax, that wouldn't happen because the the thread would have grip. But that's my own choice now. I'm just going to come in again, catch in the stem, nice and tight. The stem on this wee these wee haggles on this cape that I have, they're nice and thin. So we're just going to fold the stem back and then bring my thread up over the top of the stem just creating a nice head on the fly nice and tight keeping your thread tight and come in and break away the stem now, we're looking the we're looking the business now the cascade you have a choice to make here the cascade doesn't have jungle cock on it so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to leave it like this. I have two jungle cock eyes that are um, prepared. Um, and what I'll do is, I'll just, I don't know what I'll do. We'll just, we'll just knock them on for the sake of it. I've already took them off the cape. I'm just, I, I'm just mindful guys that not everybody, you know, has the means to buy jungle cock. And I want people to, <coughs> excuse me, to take up fly time. I'm not trying to, to put them off it. So. I've got these two eyes here, so we'll just offer these up. Just while we're here, I'll just come in with a a couple of turns to see how we're we're sitting. Right. I'm happy enough with that. I'm just going to check the length. This one here is just a wee bit long. I'm just going to put it in. Okay, happy enough with that. I'm going to take another couple of tight turns. I'm going to fold these wee stems back and then just tie up over the top of the, the stems of the jungle cap. Nice and tight. Come in and locate these wee stems. It'll be fiddly. These wee jungle cock eyes. Just take your time. Break away the stems. Just get my work finishing tool and come in and the one at what finish. Yeah, like I say guys, I'm just I'm mindful. You know, not everybody can afford them. <coughs> just because of the, simply the price of them. And like I said there, I want to try and get people involved in flight hand, not trying to uh, put them off hope that makes sense. Now I'm just going to come in with a wee drop of super glue. Just onto the head. Don't want this going anywhere else. the whole way right round and then just don't want that run under the eye just like to come in and sort of like square that off if you like and then I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of varnish just to finish that wee fly off so there you go folks that's a wee um, copper cascade um, <coughs> excuse me again I would tie a few of those up now just have them ready in your box for you know, the back end of the next season, um, God Spurs, uh, you get a wee shot at the river. So, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out and it just helps it grow. Um, and until next time guys, please stay safe and tight lines.